Had a little snow last night, about two inches, three inches, and we've got all these, uh, there's about 20 acres here that was woods that we decided we needed to clear for some reason, which is whatever. 20 more acres to farm, I guess. This has been an ongoing project here for a couple of years, but I'm thinking, uh, I'm hoping that we'll get her planted this spring, but Mason had the thumb ripped off the backhoe because uh, we got a little aggressive with it, but he's got her welded back on here. Now he's, uh, I was up here this morning, he welded that thing up this morning, and I, uh, I came up here and lit all these brush piles on fire. There's like 20 of them. So he just got back with the backhoe, and now he's uh, piling these piles together and getting them burning good. So I'm heading back to the farm right now. We actually got a bunch of metal to make a forestry rake to put on the backhoe. So we got a quick attach on there. It'll be like just a big rake with fingers. You can you can kind of rake together a root rake, forestry rake, whatever you want to call it. But you can. Uh, put different stuff together there's a good there's a good scoopy guy going <laughs> nice and warm by the fire here though for a little backhoe it's got pretty good power we just rebuilt the whole undercarriage on it we put new new uh chains track pads and rollers on it and so that stuff was all wore out because it spends most of its time in the sticks or the mud so i mean what he just grabbed would literally take like 15 minutes with the skid loader moving so that's why the back was nice to have for sure he makes a pretty big fire too and he gets all that stuff piled on the top let her burn for an hour or whatever and pile more on. Get her good and hot too, like that's all stumps over there. Then you can put all the stumps on there and they'll, they'll burn halfway down. I better get back to work. Hello, happy day. Wisconsin decided to dump snow on us. It's March 22nd, I think. Honestly, I'm not that upset about it because I was preparing for us to have an April snowstorm like we typically do in Wisconsin. So March, not that bad. Um, I was expecting it and it's good moisture to have in the field. So as Greg likes to say, it is what it is. Um, they're burning some brush at a farm right now. Greg's working on a project in the shop that I'll show you guys right after this. And then we got four calves. What's the status of what's happening on the farm? Hey, we're building a forestry rake here uh, to scratch, you know, when you cut lumber, tree lines out and stuff, you have all the brush. You use this, as, you put this on the back one, and it drags all the stuff together. And I've never been happy with any of the ones I've ever <clears throat> looked at to buy. They weren't built heavy enough, I didn't think, and they were too narrow. This is going to be 10 feet wide uh, and a little heavier. We had our, we flamed out these shanks. We used the same design on, a, on our deep ripper for these shanks. It was the same one, so I just used that and I'm welded them on these uh, square tubing. And then we'll, we'll hook, it'll hook up to the backhoe and you'll rake all the brush together and then the grapple buckets can take it and haul it away. So you didn't like anything, so you decided, why not just make it myself? Right. right. Engineer it a little bit. Right, and they didn't, they didn't look heavy enough, and they were all six feet wide, not ten. Why do you want ten? You get 40% more done every pass. Okay. <laughs> what about the planter that's behind you? Uh, we got a hydraulic motor for the air compressor, and then it's ready to go. Well, it's planting weather right now, isn't it? it well, the snow, <laughs> there's no beans or corn. You know, so yep. I don't know. So what, this will go on the back of what? This will go on the back hole. Back hole, okay. Yep. yep. So we're done. Gotcha. So you have how many more to put on? Five? Uh, 
yeah, five more. We have to wait for Avery to get back in to run a track machine out to the guys that are cutting brush right now. And uh, I'm just going to do the final welds on some of these. And then this beam will go on top here across here. And then the plate to, will make the plate at the mount on for the back hole quick attach. Okay. The shank, rest of the shanks are right there. What a fun Friday project. Yep. It's going to be heavy, but it ain't like you're digging anything. You're just scratching stuff together. You know, we'll put we'll put some uh, gussets in or you know pieces in here to help hold it. Like a little Which, brace. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. So just a lot of welding. Have fun. Yep. Split the difference and go back towards you a little bit. Right there. Final progress update for today, anyway. Got some caps welded on the end, and then all these pipes welded through the center there. I don't know. For a couple farmers, I think we did a pretty good job. Nice and square. The only thing that got a little weird on me was cutting these in the bandsaw. But for the most part, they're pretty good. So, got to weld this thing up yet for the quick attach on the backhoe. And then I've got some gussets over there that come down the side of these onto these square, square stock here. So, we'll see how she works. See if we can rip it apart. I'm sure we can. It's built pretty heavy, but backhoe's got a lot of power, so we'll see how she goes. <sighs> Nectar of the gods on a Sunday morning. Got to go down and back to the tree project here push up them piles that we were burning and jump in the back hole and kind of shove them back together they've been burning since well rolling uh, was up there yesterday pretty much all day from i don't know eight to like three rounding up stumps and stuff so he was picking stuff up kind of had piles laying everywhere we didn't have every one of them burning so we were moving some of the smaller piles to the ones that were burning um so he was working on that guy when i went up there and checked on him at like 10 yesterday morning he was uh making some pretty good progress had some big fires going with just stumps on them so that's that's a good sign we don't have to do anything with all those stumps that's a nice thing they sat for a year got rained on washed all the dirt out of them and i think most of them are going to burn down pretty good so um i guess it's this field is literally a half a mile down the road from my house so i'm literally already here i'm pulling in the driveway right now but they're still smoldering pretty good out there i see so he quit yesterday because the skid loader ran out of def and fuel so it didn't run out but it's it's empty so I said, go home and 
take the rest of the day off. So we don't need to be working every weekend all day long before spring here because that's coming soon enough. Really got a close up of what we ended up doing. We had to put a we welded a plate on here. Let's see here if I can this plate ripped off for the pin for the thumb here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. It seems to be holding now. I don't know how it dressed till Monday or tomorrow morning. Dad and I will probably finish um, welding that root rake together and then I hope I can bring the payloader up here and clean all that stuff up. We'll see. Give us an update on this. What the cup, quick cup where it'll go on. And then it's done. And then you guys can use it? Yeah. I suppose. So, well, then you guys can test to see if it actually works how you want it to. We had to do some redesigning already. Why? There wasn't enough room from the, this piece to the bottom of the pin to get it on, so we had to put these with this up some. Avery's measuring was off. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> the measurements weren't good. Yeah. What do they say? Measure once, cut twice? Or the opposite of that. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Or measure a couple more times and still have to cut is our theory yeah all right well hopefully this can be in action soon should be this afternoon just about done.
What do you think? Yeah, a little bit of dirt comes with, but not bad. A lot more forgiving than a bucket. Good deal. Now you just got 50 hours of doing it. We'll talk to you next week. I guess I guess that's about the final update on the on the root rake until we rip it in half, right? The sand is pretty forgiving, but I think a heavy ground is gonna pull a lot harder through that when you're trying to clean something out up. We'll see. Dirt. Yeah. We'll see. This is just version one. I'm sure we'll rip this one apart and have to build another one, version two.